On March 15, in USA passed another stage of primaries where the citizens of five states decided for whom their delegates will vote at the political parties' congresses. About the results, the story by our partners, Voice of America. Thank you very much, everybody. This was an amazing evening. This was a great evening. It was another big night of victories for Republican frontrunner Donald Trump, who won primaries in Florida, North Carolina, and Illinois. I think we're going to have a great victory. And I think more importantly than anything else, we are going to start winning again. This country is going to start winning again. We don't win anymore. The flamboyant billionaire's double-digit victory in Florida knocked Senator Marco Rubio out of the presidential race. But even as he suspended his campaign, Rubio issued a warning that seemed aimed at the Republican frontrunner. America needs a vibrant conservative movement but one that's built on principles and on ideas, not on fear, not on anger, not on preying on people's frustrations. It was also a good night for Ohio Governor John Kasich. Kasich's victory in his home state primary saved his presidential campaign and keeps alive the possibility of a contested Republican convention in July. We put one foot in front of the other, and I want to remind you again tonight that I will not take the low road to the highest office in the land. The Republican race is now a three-man race, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who sees himself as Trump's chief rival. And going forward, the choice is straightforward. Do you want a candidate who shares your values or a candidate who has spent decades opposing your values? In the Democratic race, big victories in Florida, North Carolina, and Ohio for frontrunner Hillary Clinton helped corral many more delegates than her rival, Senator Bernie Sanders. Addressing supporters in Florida, the former Secretary of State turned to her differences with Donald Trump. If we reach out to treat each other with respect, kindness, and even love instead of bluster and bigotry, if we lift each other up, instead of tearing each other down, there's nothing we can't accomplish together. Sanders vowed to fight on. This campaign is doing well because we are listening to the American people and not just wealthy campaign contributors. But with Sanders falling further behind in convention delegates, Clinton took a major step towards securing the Democratic Party nomination. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.